So I, I decided to do my project on something I'm pretty passionate about. It's called Paying It Forward. If you don't know what it is, it was started by Katherine Ryan Hyde. She wrote this book about doing good for others and making the world a better place. So I'll go into a little more detail about that. It was made into a movie. So in this book and the movie, the teacher challenged his class to think of an idea to change the world and put it into action, which to me is like the coolest assignment ever. And he challenged them and then they had to come present one idea. So the main character of the story, Trevor, sorry I had a lot of slides so real quick, came up with this idea of starting with himself and doing three random acts of kindness for three other people and challenging them to do the same. So three more for three more people. And then if you do that, like billions of good deeds could be done in a year. So Trevor kind of sparked this movement. He put his own idea into action and he took his friend, or not his friend, he took this homeless man, Jerry, into his house and fed him and gave him shelter until he could get on his feet and get a better start. He was an addict. So Trevor's actions kind of sparked something inside of Jerry. And then later on in the movie, a girl was about to commit suicide and Jerry stopped her because he owed Trevor something. So as Trevor's whole story is playing along, there's also this backstory of a guy trying to figure out who started this, pay it forward. So the plot's kind of going in two different directions at the same time. And this guy crashed his car and was given a brand new Jaguar by this man. And this man did that because that guy stood up for his daughter and he was stabbed and he made the hospital take care of the little girl first and he told the guy to pay it forward. He didn't want anything in return. So paying it forward in the real world, it's common every day. Like you can do it by just compliment, complimenting people, maybe paying for their water or a drink or something like that. And uh, a couple examples are Kelsey Granowitz made an article or wrote an article called 50 Ways to Pay It Forward and she came up with simple ideas like pay for the person's coffee behind you, pay for something like this, but it's not all about money, it's maybe give someone a hug or something just really nice and generous. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but there's a couple of really cool stories that have uh, kind of caught my attention. At a McDonald's drive through 250 people in Florida paid for the people behind the meal. So they didn't pay for, they paid for their own. Well, they didn't really have to because it was kind of a long train, but the, the attendant working the drive through counted 250 people. At a Chick-fil-A in Georgia, 215 people paid for the people behind them. And then at a Tim Hortons in Winnipeg, Canada, 228 people. So. It's just a really cool action. And Labatt Blue also donates to sled hockey in a movement called Pass It Forward. And I don't have a slide about it, but they have given over $250,000 just to sled hockey players so they can afford gear because of all the things they've gone through. And uh, it's just like a simple act of kindness and they don't ask for anything in return. And that's really, really cool to me. And there's a video movement on uh, YouTube called, well, he's, his name is Stuart Edge. And he does a bunch of random acts of kindness. So he'll, he comes up with clever ways to do it, though. So he came up with an idea called reverse pickpocketing. And you can see here, he's like reaching in the woman's bag and dropping a $100 bill in there. And he did that to like six or seven different people. And that's $700. Like, that's pretty impressive. He also has videos where he stands in the middle of the sidewalk and gives out free hugs, which is a little weird, but it's also a really cool idea and can really change someone's day. He also has two more examples here are Surprise Secret Santa. So he paid for the people who uh, were shopping at like a less fortunate Target during the year. And he also helped out homeless people as like, a cool way. He and his friend did this thing where he acted as a secret angel, like an angel, and uh, it like kind of played off as he was actually from heaven and not really, like no one else could see him, which was really cool. But those are just a couple ways in which you could do it. So why should you pay it forward? Why is it like good for yourself? Why is it good for everybody else? If you judge people, you have time, 
you have no time to love them. That's like a quote from Mother Teresa. She obviously embodied this idea of paying it forward and giving herself to other people. So, the uh, well, when you pay it forward, it's good for yourself and not good, not just good for everybody else. It creates a chemical called endorphins that give people a happy high. So kind of like Evan's talk, it'll make you a lot happier. It also reduces stress levels and hormones, and that can prevent disease. And also people who volunteer are a lot more likely to recover from diseases quickly from stats and the graphs. And uh, I'll end it with two quotes. So all it takes is one good deed. So just a little bit of drive in yourself to do one good deed can spark three good deeds in someone else. You never know. And one man can change the world. A couple of things that I've been trying to do ever since I've heard about this movement are complimenting one person per day. And then in the new year, I'm going to try and do like one pretty big good deed per day. It's my New Year's resolution, so I'm not sure what that will be yet. I'll probably go day to day. But I'm going to start it off today and end the presentation by paying it forward and giving you each a donut. And I ask for nothing in return, but uh, I challenge you to go pay it forward. So that's my presentation.